Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew. This is the Just a Guy Linux YouTube channel. Um, I just finished a video just now <laughs> on creating an ISO uh, USB stick two different ways in command line and using Etcher. Um, what I did was I created this USB stick uh, with Debian stable on it. The goal is to get to Debian testing, okay? Now again, I, if you've watched the video before, I kind of made a, um, I made a claim that I think that Debian testing is probably the way most people should go if they don't want stable. You know, when you're talking about Debian unstable, um, that's more for the very best users. I am not one of them. So we're going to give this a shot the way I think it should be done. I've saw, seen other videos that uh, install Debian testing directly. I think that this is probably the better way to do this. And so I'm going to start off with going to the advanced options on this installation. And I'm going to use the expert install. Okay. Now again, this is this is a video that I've done basically already in, in how to install Debian Stable. Um, the goal here though is to, there's going to be a couple tweaks. Uh, the, the goal, and I'm going to hit just enter a bunch of times. If you want to see the other video, um, you know, by all means, check it out. The goal is to get to Debian testing. So you could do that without going through this process. I just think it's a little bit cleaner. Um, in doing this type of installation. And the thing that I want to make sure is if you are a Windows user trying to migrate to Debian, uh, just use stable. You know, just use the stable version. And actually, this will be a really good way because what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up with um, using XFCE or something like that so that if you are migrating from a different OS, then this might be a, this might be good for you. Okay. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to install an entire desktop environment um, in this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an installation and an update into Debian testing. If I do pause for a second, it's just because I'm trying to do things really quickly. Again, I, like I said, I've done this video before, but not exactly. I'm trying to make it as, especially the one part, uh, and I'll show you at that point, but um, let's give it a go. All right, let me just hit enter a couple more times. And here is, you're gonna get, you know, I'm gonna choose the Atlanta mirrors because um, it's quicker for me. Doesn't mean it's quicker for you. <laughs> yes and no. And I need a name and I need a terrible password. Again, I'm going really quickly. Uh, the idea is to get to where I, I need to talk. Okay. Now, again, you can do this. Got to use the largest blah, blah, blah. All right. I, I, this is my choice. I'm going to go manual here. And I'm going to go down to the uh, SDA and hit enter. And then I'm going to create a new partition, empty partition, I should say, and use GPT. All right, arrow down one, create it, and I'm gonna go 256 megabytes at the beginning, and I'm gonna use this as a EFI system partition, okay? And I am done with that. Let me go down one more create a new partition. Everything else is fine. 
and mm, different video from the future, but that's this is good for now. And and I'm going to finish. And I don't want to I don't want to return to the partition menu because we're going to do a different kind of swap. And so the answer is no. And the answer to write the changes is yes. All right. So with Debian, you know, the answer, the question is, do you want something that's more current? And so Debian testing kind of allows that, even though I think that Debian stable is fine, especially for now, because I guess what Debian stable, especially 11.3 came out in March of 2022. So we're only talking about three months um, and there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter there and generic is fine. Uh, I know that some people want to be more on the current level, you know, as far as like, do I call it a rolling release? Mm, mm, I don't know. Not really, but it's as close as you're going to get with Debian for a rolling release. You know, if you want a rolling release, I would say use Arch. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just for me, I choose Debian. And there we go. And like I said, I'm going to quickly go through a bunch of stuff here. There's nothing that interesting. Okay. Use non-free software. Um, we're going to go yes and no. I just want to make sure that I, I did that correctly, but I, I think I did. So because what we're going to do later is um, right here. So this again, this is Debian stable installation. All right. There's going to be um, mirrors for these two things. OK. And when we're doing testing, there is no security updates mirror uh, and there's only the testing mirror. So what we need to do here, or, or we, we should do here, is we don't need to enable any of these because the goal is to not be on Debian stable. The goal is to be on Debian testing. So we're going to remove these two and hit continue. And we're going to hit enter. Again, I've done this before. I, if, you know, let me encourage you to do so if you have not. So what we definitely don't want to do 100% is install anything out of the desktop environment uh, menu here. Nothing. We only want the standard utilities. If you do this, you're going to install the, all these packages that or have to be updated. So we want as few packages as possible when we transition from stable to testing. Okay? So we're going to hit continue here. You know, when we only have 111 packages, that's that's a good thing. almost done okay got to install grub and then we're good so basically I just ditched my whole setup that I had in the previous videos to start over again which is fine and 
and we're going to finish. And there we go. Okay. So I'm going to pull the installation media out of the um, USB slot and we're going to uh, be greeted with our brand new Debian stable. <laughs> this is Debian stable. So we're going to log in. I did. I just. I do need to do a couple things. So sudo reconfigure. Uh, oh no, sorry. Sudo dp kg reconfigure, and then console setup to make it bigger. And that is good. Enter, enter. Going down to terminus, and all the way down to the bottom. And there you go. Okay, Control L. All right. So what do we want to do? All right. We want to let me go ahead and install sudo sudo apt install CRAM tools just so that I have something. Okay. And uh, I'm going to sudo nano um, DRAM swap. And I want to, I was going to install, uh, <laughs> I was going to install uh, Vim, but then I was like, eh, I'll make this short. And I'll install Vim some other time. Okay. And I want to, there we go. So if I hit LSBLK, it's going to do, it's going to show 256 meg of RAM, even though when I do reboot, it's going to show 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, sorry, 8, yeah, 8 gigs of swap. So what we want to do is sudo um, nano and then the, oh, sorry, apt sources list, okay? Now, to, now here's where it we saved ourselves some time. We have one entry for our sources list. That's it. And the only thing that you have to do is remove bullseye and replace that with testing. So now it's only just one thing. And I'm going to save that. And so when I um, update, it's going to get all the Debian, sorry, the testing packages. Notice that there's a lot to ha that can be upgraded. Um, so what we want to do is um, sudo apt dist upgrade. Notice how much there is. Now let's just say, let's, let me just put this into context. Let me go ahead and hit yes so that it updates everything, okay? If we had installed all that other stuff, like let's say GNOME, we would be sitting here a really long time in installing package after package after package. And what we haven't done here, we've basically bypassed all of that, that junk um, to make this really clean. So what we're doing right now is we're basically updating uh, what we should have done. What I should do is um, sh show you that the um, show you. I just hit Q, by the way. Okay, and I'm going to hit yes. The current um, the current kernel for Debian stable is 5.10, um, and then some stuff. 5.10. With testing, I think it's going to be like 5.17. So we're going to have much more uh, current kernel in when we are completely done with this. So as we go through the process of transitioning to Debian testing, uh, I think that you'll see some definite packages that uh, will you'll you'll recognize some.
Now I apologize if it's taking a little bit long, but this is oh, right there. There's the Linux image 5.17-01. Uh, All right. Hopefully we're almost done now. Okay, say, let me just go ahead and clear the screen and say uname dash r. Okay, 5.10. So, what we're going to do hit right now is sudo reboot and we'll see where we are after we do the reboot. there you can see the kernel it might be a little bit quick but there we go all right so let's see the uname dash r okay and let's go ahead and sudo apt install neofetch I thought that was going to be quicker. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let me do this. Oh, by the way, LSBLK, just to make sure. So there it is. There's the 8 gig of um, swap. Just wanted to show it real quick. And then uh, NeoFetch, and there's the kernel, and uh, it shows Bookworm SID as the uh, OS, and there's memory is only 256, 262 meg of RAM uh, on a 32 gig of RAM machine. All right, this is where we're going to stop, and this is where we will kick off the next time. All right, thanks.